Now, the rest of the story. And with that, welcome back. So, some things have been moved around today, and a lot, a whole lot of a little bit of everything has been going on. Um, everything from moving corn to all oh, of you guys can see the machine shed behind me, to moving everything around in the machine shed. We got the easy trail back out of the way. The corn planter is pulled out, folded out. It needs to start being torn apart. But the problem is the weather is too awesome right now to devote to working on the corn planter. They're saying a very, very high chance of some rain here in the next two or three days. So the plan is to start digging into the planter and hopefully get that done in probably two or three days, depending on how, uh, how much effort needs to be put into the planter. So as far as the planter goes, let's run over that really quick. Um, everything that we can do before it has to be hooked up to the 4630, 40, 4640. Um, the seed boxes have to come off, the insecticide boxes are going to come off. We're going to go through, and I don't have my light on me, just take my word for it. Um, all these roller chains that are down in here, back to the row units, there's actually three. We are going to be replacing two of the three. The longer, or I think it's like the second longest chain, um, going from the controller, or the shutoff, to the insecticide boxes will not be replaced because with us putting on the liquid onto the corn planter, we can put the insecticide that we would normally put on with the insecticide boxes down with the liquid, and it's actually like a third of the cost. So we really can't think of any reason why we would want to keep the insecticide boxes hooked up as far as the chains go, and we are doing some talking. We've already priced it out, and it's not going to happen this year. Um, but we are talking about doing three bushel boxes, replacing both the seed boxes and the insecticide boxes and putting insecticide boxes on. Um, yeah, I think that pretty well speaks for itself. It'll allow us to plant more without having to stop so much. Um, even for doing the corn, we don't put liquid down across everything. So being able to just to dump in uh, the bags devoted just to like this farm or our other farms that we don't put insecticide on. That'll really speed that process up because not having to stop and get back to the tender truck, the trailer, whatever, to refill will really help. This has to be greased and then other than the roller chains, it's really going to be ready to go. The planter doesn't need near as much attention as it did the last two years. The last two years we've put about a month worth, worth of work into it. The first year being putting the ag leader harness and everything on it and getting it set up for the ag leader monitor. Last year was a lot more intensive because we put the liquid on it and that took us right around a month working it on it on and off. Similar to how Dad and Ryan are working on the semi. The grain drill I went through Got that greased up, checked up. I gotta clean out the oats out of the back yet, but the grass seed is still in the front because what is on my mind here lately, because the weather is getting beautiful outside, it was 61 today, it's supposed to be 70 something tomorrow. Um, the plan is to maybe potentially possibly hook onto the 630 disc onto my 7600 and go and disc down, disc in, disc up some waterways so we can go through and seed them down and that's why I'm not getting carried away pulling the grass seed out of the front of the grain drill just yet because we can go ahead and plant some of those waterways down we are going to we have some ditches that we have to fill or um, not ditches um, sinkholes that Ryan and I went down to my place we were checking fence but we we're on the tail end of that finally and then we're gonna go through what well, the plan is when Ryan is busy running that red machine over there. Um, we had our first run today, that went very, very well. And then um, I'm planning on taking that yellow machine right there and doing some dirt work down at my place. Plus I have some trees in the fences. Between the grapple bucket and the bucket that, that JCB has, um, it's a lot better of a digging bucket. Um, the bucket that my dad has on his bobcat is, more of a, is a snow bucket. I mean, that's what it was labeled as when dad got it. And this bucket, it has a lot better, a uh, much better cutting edge on it um, compared to my dad's. Plus, with the added horsepower on that machine, uh, dirt work, dealing with rocks and everything, it will work great. 
Um, we had the gravel bucket on the front of it the other day and it tossed that gravel bucket around like it wasn't on the front. So I'm really excited to see how that handles because I do have a bunch of random work down at my place. A lot of random work down at my place, a lot of random work at Ryan's place, and we got a bunch of daily chores around here that we're gonna be using it for. Um, as far as videos on my channel of that machine, you guys are not going to be seeing videos on my channel of that machine for a while. The reason for that is, is because I am, are, and will be doing videos on it. In the end, it'll probably just be two, probably, uh, a compilation of the different jobs that I've been using it for for the next month and then my opinion on it I already have an opinion on it but I'm gonna use it even more yet to make sure that pill and that opinion opinion is valid but definitely thumbs up so the reason for that is why you're not gonna see anything from it until probably June is because out of respect for Ryan, I do not want to post anything on it, take any potential views away from Ryan's channel because that is Ryan's deal. Ryan is the one that was contacted to use the JCB. He was the one that was contacted to do the videos on it. And really, I'm just going to be doing my videos once the rush and <laughs> all the attention has been sifted through Ryan's channel. Um, I'm a secondary channel. Um, this is the rest of the story. It's raw, it's to the point, and unfiltered to a certain point. But definitely not going to be saying anything negative about it. Not because they, just because they sent it to us, but because I have ran it already, and I like it. So the 4640, the 76, the 8235, we're all humming today. The plan is to get them washed off. Tillage is uh, getting really close because for how dry the ground is, especially if it's gonna be in the 70s tomorrow. Plus if we get a rain in the next two days, the goal is, is that hopefully that'll pull out any of that remaining frost that is in the ground yet. And hopefully within a week, maybe about a week, I don't know, what is the day? Yeah, about a week, um, we'll be doing tillage. And once we do start doing tillage, we're gonna be hitting it hard because it seems like the more we think about what we have to work down, it seems like it's, it just seems like it's a lot more than what we were really originally thinking it was going to be. So we were hauling manure yesterday, two days ago. Um, the plan is we got two other lots that we could potentially clean up and that is what Ryan and I are thinking we're going to be doing tomorrow. The only problem is is that he has a party, uh, or a housewarming party, he has to go to at like 5 o'clock tomorrow night. And I know for a fact that even a long full day of hauling manure isn't going to finish it. And the problem is is we have to get our cattle chute and everything set up so we can run cattle through the chute. So we have a lot of things that are on our minds that we have to get done and it's just trying to pick our battles to do everything in a timely manner. And we're getting there. But the more days we get where it's t-shirt and sweatshirt weather, um, the more of a panic is kind of hitting you in the back of your head that would really, really like to be farther than what we are. But you can only do so much. The grass is greening up. We were down checking fence today and it is getting to where you'd want to be pretty well done checking fence because all of the brush and the weeds and everything else are about half bloomed already. The trees are really starting to go, go too. So I don't know. Um, everything is pretty well maintained. Uh, the 630 does have to be pulled out. The VT, that's probably going to be sitting idle for a little while yet. We do have a bunch of new seating to do but no one's really talked about it yet. We have a lot of that random stuff that needs to be done. Um, all of our corn seed is here for the most, yeah, it is here, uh, yeah, it's here and then some. We got a few bags that I guess we have to send back. Plus we gotta go through and sort it all out. Um, just trying to get you guys caught up with everything that's going on around here. That's really, Really what I like to do, I talk to you guys kind of like I used to talk to my grandpa. <laughs> you sit and used to tell him everything that you were doing throughout the day and that's really what I kind of take that and I focus it towards my videos because that's really what you guys are getting told. You're getting told what's been done, what has to be done and I will be taking you guys along when I'm doing more of this field work. Maintenance, 
Um, I'll show you a little bit more of what has to be done with the corn planter, but I'm really hoping that is a non-issue. And yes, by the way, that is why the 8235 is sitting in here now with the corn planter. The 82 was on it, that's what we used to move it. And it's not, the frame isn't bent by any means, it's just I didn't unhook the, the center lock to set it down. So we do have a busted Keaton seed firmer on it yet, which I guess I was just informed today that there's way too many of them out there. And the parts guy up at Sloan says he needed to do a little bit more digging because he couldn't find the one we have or hadn't found the one we have yet. So, yeah. I'm getting excited. I think everybody else that's watching this channel is definitely excited. Calvin is tired because he was up at, what, three o'clock this morning wanting to play. Of course, that might be why I'm tired. Oh, I might sound a little salty there, but somebody wanted to wake me up. So I let him outside because I thought he had to go to the bathroom. And he went outside, curled up on the porch, and sat there and looked at me. So, the second I let him back in the house, he grabbed his, was his little toy, he's got a little pillow that he plays with, carries around, and was trying to get me to play with him. So, he's so awesome and mellow, but he's, he's a bit of an attention getter, and more than less than ideal times. So, well, I hope everybody's enjoying your spring, your summer, our summer weather you really shouldn't have summer weather further south yeah i think you guys are going into fall but i don't know whatever you guys are having down in australia but for us um things are getting exciting so thanks for tuning in thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel um as far as merchandise goes yes you can purchase merchandise um, i do have some shirts some hats a hat available the link is in the description below um I just really haven't a whole, had a whole lot of demand for merchandise, I guess. Or I guess I've been told I should add more to it, like mugs and stuff. And I just haven't done anything with it since. So, all right. That's enough for this video. That's enough for tonight. I got to go home because I got pizza waiting for me, of course. So until next time, well, as far as that goes, until tomorrow night, take care, take it easy, keep in touch. I will talk to you guys then. Goodbye.